Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Wife once again. So in today's video we are going to see how we can create short like this. Okay, so as you can see over here, I have created this shot by using few very simple techniques and some of advanced technique as well. So let's deep dive into our screen and let's see how I created this. So here you can see uh, I have an image. It's a static image where I have a, a ruined castle kind of stuff and very foggy behind as you can see over here. So let's start how I proceeded for this. What I did, I created a two separate images. One is this and as you can see over here, if I'm going to add a pre mold I have castle separated and another part is I have back plate separated and what I did just in case I am getting any kind of overlap I just painted that thing in uh, Photoshop and created my back plate as well and this is my foreground and this will be my background apart from that I have few grunge images as you can see over here I'll let you know how I can use it apart from that we are going to use some uh, sort of 2d elements like fog and smoke just to add a little bit extra punch right also i have my camera and by using this camera i modeled uh, one basic mesh as you can see over here mesh of castle right pretty basic and I exported my camera and mesh from uh, maya and how i have to proceed further like what i'm going to do i'm going to use a projection technique to complete this shot so directly i'm going to take a node called project 3d and in project 3d as you know we need camera and a texture to project so i'm going to put one over here and what i can do i need a camera to project things so i'm going to use this camera and i need a geometry to project uh, so i have a basic geometry made up in uh, uh, maya so what i'm going to do directly i'm going to connect this to project 3d node and i'm going to connect this with my geometry so what will happen this texture is going to project it on my geometry isn't it good right just to see that i need a scanline render and in scanline render also i'll be needing probably i can add a scene node over here and in scene node i can copy this camera probably control c control v because i don't want my projection camera and animated camera to be same so i keep it separate in a separate way and if i'm going to render it you can easily see I'm having my image or castle images projected on geometry, right? Second part, I'm going to uh, project my this data behind my castle, right? So how I can do that? I can easily take a card and I'm going to connect it with my scene. And what I'll do, let's view from scene and I'm going to scale my card, right? Because currently my card is pretty small. So I'm going to scale it probably 100 or might be a little bigger like 500 or 300, right? Something like that. And also I'm going to rotate it, right? So let's rotate it almost something like this. And of course, my sky will be behind my castle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it something like that. And probably I'll be needing a little bigger card. So I'm going to scale it further like 500 probably it will okay work for me or if won't then I can scale it further as well. Same way I'm going to project my this data onto this card. So for this I will be needing a project 3D one more time and in project 3D I'm going to connect my camera because same camera I'll be needing to project and I can project this on my card. So what will happen? my foreground and background will be separated something like that and if i'm going to see it my background is over here my foreground is over here and for a safer side uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to animate my this camera so what i'll do i'll go over here and i'm going to probably animate it so let's animate it i'll switch it off and i'm going to set key right and in last frame probably and in last frame and i'm going to animate it a little forward something like that not much let's buffer it and let's see 
how it's coming. It will be a basic animation. Later on, if you need, we can change our animation as well. So let's see. Okay, so camera has been buffered. And as you can see, I am getting a good amount of parallax because uh, I have kept my foreground and background in a distance. So I'm getting my parallax now. To increase this parallax, what I can do, I can add a 2D elements as well to make it more believable shot, right? So how I can do that, let's import some 2D elements and let's see how we can proceed further. Okay, so over here, I have few cloud PNG, which I created in Photoshop. And what I need to do, I need to take a pre-melt node. And as I'm going to connect it, you can easily see I'm having my clouds. Uh, same way, I can add one more pre-mult, right? And let's connect it. And if you can see, I have some sort of cloud information over here. So what I'm going to do again, I am going to take a card node. Probably I'm going to take a card node, right? And I'm going to take a project 3D node. Same way, the process will be same. So I'll be needing camera to project. It might possible I can connect this camera over here. And same way, I'm going to connect my texture and I'll be needing a card to project it, right? Something like that. And I'm going to connect it with my scene. But as you can see, if I'm going to see through my scene, my card is pretty small and I want my cloud to be behind that castle. And in, uh, in fact, in between this castle and my background. So let's scale it. Probably I need to scale it in a... Uh, 600 right and i have to rotate it as well as we did it for background data right and probably i can push it a little backward something like that and if i'm going to see through my scan line so as you can see i am having my clouds over here so if we want uh, i think i don't need this side cloud so what i can do i can use a mask probably i can cut this so I can take a merge node and I can do stencil right something like that stencil and if I'm going to see through it you can see easily I'm having my cloud texture or cloud data over here so probably what I can do I can also do one thing I can take a transform node and probably I can pull it upwards something like that something like that you can place it as per your requirement and if i am going to play it what will happen automatically you can have a parallax right so if you want what else you can do you can add take my card and probably i can place it little forward as well so that the parallax will be there the more parallax will be there again with same another cloud what i can do i can easily probably i can copy this if you want you can project it or you can manually place it as well so i'm going to connect it through my scene so i'm i'm showing you the same way so probably you can see over here my cloud is at same point or same position uh, of earlier so what i need to do i need to place it in front of my castle something like that probably something like that and it's too big so probably I can scale it down, something like that. And I need to position it. If we'll do projection, it will be good for you. So you don't need to scale it and you don't need to position it. So if you can see, it's too big, too big, right? So I can scale it down a little further. And I need to reposition it. Something like that. So probably I can put it, I can see over here and probably I can place it or it might possible I can put my this cloud little backward something like that so what will happen you'll have more parallax between clouds something like that right something like that great right and if I'm going to play it probably I'll play it in some time what else I can do I can add some smoke data or some kind of moving cloud data as well, right? To generate more parallax. So let's import few more 2D elements and let's see how we can place it. So here what I have, I have few more cloud data or smoke data as you can see, which is uh, going from left to right. Another one is this, another one is this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of them 
in front of camera extreme front of camera so what else i can do i can copy this card or probably any any card you can copy it probably i have to do that and what i'm going to do i'm going to connect this card to my scene and i want to place it in front of my camera right so probably what i need to do i need to scale down a little probably something like that and if you can see i am having a black kind of stuff so why this is coming because we don't have any kind of alpha so i can take a copy node i can connect both and i can say red channel use red channel as a alpha so as you can see i am having transparency now and let's jump to my scene and let's start placing it right so uh, it might possible i can uh, scale it down a little and what else i can do i'll i'll try to place it in a such way that i'm having my cloud or smoke data in front of my camera right so as you can see my this data is over here animated camera and probably i need to lift it up let's see through my render and yes i can easily see i'm having some sort of information in front of camera as well right if you want you can scale it little more because it's too big right so let's let's see how it's coming now you can easily see it's probably it's coming pretty nice and if i'm going to do this it's cutting from left side so i need to adjust it little and it might possible i can scale it a little upwards something like that and if i want that camera is moving and camera is crossing that uh, cloud so what i need to do i need to make it something like this so what will happen automatically you will see cloud or smoke in first frame and if i'm going to check last frame it will be like your camera is crossing that smoke kind of stuff right isn't it great what else we can do same way we can add few more uh, smoke or cloud kind of stuff and let me do that the same way and i'll come back once it's done okay we are here with our all data what i have done let me show it to you so i have created few more uh, 2d elements and how i placed it let's let's see how i placed it this is my background this is another 2d element right this is another 2d element like i have one 2d element in over here as i am going to disable it can you see that one 2d element over here one 2d element in front of camera which i showed you earlier and another one is little backwards right just to give some sort of variation as well can you see that and apart from that i did something uh to my castle as well as you can see over here this is my castle i wanted to do some kind of uh, extra stuff i wanted to add some extra stuff over here so what i did i had uh, some grunge textures so i copied my alpha i pre multiplied it and i reformatted it and it transformed it in a such a way that i can add some sort of grunge over here can you see that just see that so i added some grunge some more grunge over here some more grunge over here and i just pre multiplied it and projected it on a mesh so what i'm getting i'm getting little more grunge as well you can use this technique to add text you can use this technique to add some 3d elements as well so it's all up to you right another thing i have added some smoke elements as well so you, if you can see over here i have a smoke element which is coming from this place can you see that smoke little smoke so i added that and i animated my camera and i did some color grading as well you can see over here i did some color grading as well i added some blue to the shadows or mid tone and same way i have created my this shot So hopefully this uh, little tips and tricks video will help you to understand the way of using projection and the way of using your tools inside Nuke and make your shot much much better. So hopefully this video will help you to understand the process and if you think that this video is helping you don't forget to like this video, share this video 
and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and also if you want all these assets you can visit to our website which is www.vfxvibe.com and you can download each and every asset and you can start practicing alongside with me with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day